What is up guys, my name is Rafal and today I want to talk to you about the gear I use to film all my content across Southeast Asia. So guys, while you're traveling, it's really important to keep your bag as light as possible. This is a piece of advice that I myself don't even follow. So completely ignoring that, let's jump into the first piece of gear, which is the bag itself, which happens to be the Low Pro Pro Tactic 450 AW, quite a name. This bag is a complete beast. It's been through the dirt, it's been through the rain, it's been through the heat, the cold, and it's kept everything inside completely safe. It's got accessories that you can add on to the side here just to customize the outside a bit more. I did make a video on this bag separately, so if you guys wanna check that one out, it's gonna be right over here. Okay, cool, so let's open her up. So first up guys is my camera, which happens to be the Panasonic GH5. I can't show you guys that camera because I'm actually using it to film it right now. What I love about this camera is the sharp image you get at 4K and the 4K 60 frames per second capability. So you get that nice smooth slow motion. And it also has that super buttery smooth 120 frame per second slow motion for all you Peter McKinnon fans out there. It's also got a built-in time-lapse function, which I love. You don't need any remote, you don't need any extra accessories. You just set your increments, set how many photos you wanna take, get your lens set up, and just fire away. Attached to my camera is my main lens, which is a Canon 24 to 105 millimeter lens. It is the main lens I use whenever I'm out and about shooting. One thing I do love about this lens is that I can film at 105 millimeters while filming at 4K and punch in at a 1080 sequence so I can really get up close to people's faces without being all weird about it while actually filming. The lens is attached to my camera with a Metabones speed booster, which I love for two reasons. Number one, there's a piece of glass inside that concentrates all the light into the sensor and it widens your field of view so you can actually see more. Second reason is because the speed booster actually gives your lens an extra stop of exposure. So a 50 millimeter 1.8 lens becomes a 1.2 lens with the speed booster, which is a godsend for low light situations, which unfortunately the GH5 doesn't have a good reputation for. My next piece of gear is this little guy. It is a Canon 50 millimeter 1.8 lens. And again, with the speed booster, it becomes a 1.2. This guy is amazing for low light situations, like I said earlier. And it also gives me beautiful backgrounds because you're able to isolate the crap out of your subject when you're filming at 1.2 or 1.8. The only thing is that it might be a little hard to stay in focus if you're filming at such a shallow depth of field. So I use it sparingly. My third and final lens is this guy. It is a Rokinon 14 millimeter 2.8 lens, which I think becomes a 2.2. Check my math. I'll normally use this lens when I wanna film a location or a building and I just really wanna get as much in the camera as I can. Normally I'll use this guy with my glide cam, but because I didn't bring my glide cam with me to Asia, um, I've been using this guy for time lapses and they've been great, so. I keep several batteries with me because I never want to run out of power whenever I'm filming something. They're all labeled from A to F. I have six of them. Four of these guys are Wasabi, which is a third party company. They got great reviews, so I've been using these and no complaints so far. They came with this dual charger so I can plug in two batteries and charge more at the same time. You can never have enough batteries. With my charger, I have this little guy. This is an international converter. You do not want to find yourself with a bunch of gear that needs to be charged only to find out that you can't plug anything in. So I recommend you guys get one of these or two so that way you're not dead in the water with no way to charge your depleted batteries. Right here, I have a little pouch that keeps my lens blower and my cloth that I can use just to quickly wipe down or clean my lenses whenever I'm out filming. Next to that, I'll have my variable ND filter, which is incredibly essential and important if you wanna keep an exposed image while maintaining that 180 degree shutter angle. Definitely get one of these, they are important. Next piece of gear is the ever so popular DJI Mavic Pro. This drone is such an amazing tool. The best part about this drone is that it's small, it's compact, you guys know about it. It folds up like this, so I can put it in my bag, doesn't add much weight to it, and I can carry it with me wherever I go. I also keep two extra batteries for my Pro inside these LiPo bags. LiPo bags are basically fire-resistant bags that certain airlines require you to have. So if you guys are planning on traveling to other countries with your Mavic, um, I would probably recommend getting one of these guys. I also have a bunch of ND filters for my Mavic Pro. Again, essential for keeping your image properly exposed, especially if you're gonna be getting some awesome aerials. Inside the bag, I also keep some spare propellers and this nice protective cloth, cause God forbid, 
something happens to my drone, the propellers break or something, I have backups here. Attached to my drone, I have a third party dome which does the work of two clips in one, just holds everything nicely together and it's a lot faster to put it back on rather than two separate clips. Next up, I have this stabilized filming duo which is a Feutech G5 gimbal and a GoPro Hero 6. These two working together have been amazing. Um, they're super small, they get amazing footage. I plan on making a separate video for this, so stay tuned for that, yeah. On the side of my bag, I have my Jovi Flexible Tripod. This thing is amazing. You can set it up anywhere you want. It is small and it is compact, and I use it mainly to get time lapses. For audio, I have a Rode Video Mic Pro that's hooked onto my camera right now. It just helps me get cleaner audio whenever I'm out and about filming. And right here, I have the Rode Smart Lab, which I will use to film people or myself just to get cleaner audio. Tucked away in the middle of my bag is this guy. This is my external hard drive. It is a four terabyte hard drive. I am committing a cardinal sin by not having a backup hard drive with this, but everything I've been filming is right here in this little guy, which means if I lose this, I am dead in the water. So do as I say, not as I do, back up your drive and then back up your backup. Right here, I have my travel laptop, which is an 11 and a half inch MacBook Air. This is the main thing I've been editing all my videos on. I have a desktop back at home, but obviously I can't bring that with. So this has been my main use. I've been using it to contact clients. I've been using it to edit my videos and it's been doing a good job. I have a little pouch here that's filled with random accessories, thumb drives, cables. You never know if you could need any of it in here. Finally, this guy right here is just the separate Logitech mouse that I bought. Um, I cannot edit using the mouse pad. This makes my workflow so much faster. It's really the small things in life, guys. Get a mouse. Whew, I think that's everything. Um, if you guys are interested in getting any of the products I talked about in this video, links are down below. They are affiliate links, so if you purchase anything, I do get a kickback, so that'll be much appreciated. I wanna give a big thank you to Butterfly P Hotel in Sim Reap, Cambodia, which is where this video is being shot. This hotel is absolutely gorgeous, and a very cool thing about this hotel is that all the furniture is made by local Cambodians. If you guys are ever in Sim Reap, Cambodia, I can't recommend this place enough. I will leave a link below so you guys can check them out. If you guys like this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button. A like and a comment won't hurt either. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'll see you next time.